What is up, you horror nerds? It is me, your host, once again, Jeremiah Duncan. Welcome back to the channel. Today's review is a bit of a letdown. Um, I wasn't too impressed with this film, but you need to know about it so you can check it out if you want to. I'm talking about the 2019 release of Chicken's Blood. Yes, it's an odd name, but uh, it's got the creepy clown with the axe. We know what's going on. No more clowning around. This thing came out in 2019. It's not rated. It runs for an hour and eight. like six, maybe hour 90 minutes, I think is what it was. Um, I'm going to give this a 3.5 out of 10. It should really be less than that, but we'll talk about why it may be worth watching. If you are familiar with this film, let's uh, talk about it. This clown makes you frown. So sad. A struggling wrestler. Yeah, you heard me. And his friends take a shortcut to the event through a corrupt town run by drugs. They quickly find themselves in the middle of a blood feud between the gang and a psychotic clown on meth. So, yes, this is a really weird story. Um, and it's just, I don't know, it wasn't really, it didn't hit, hit for me. It was directed to co-written by Corey Jordan who did Frankenstein Created Bikers, as well as Door One of the Five Doors to Hell and Bigfoot Exorcist. Um, this is a true B movie through and through, so if you just like watching kind of bad movies with bad acting and bad scripts and things like that, then this in practical special effects, this is definitely the movie for you. Again, the, store, the story, um, not much to really write home about. Wasn't a lot of originality in there. I mean, you have a guy that escaped he's back and he's killing people you know getting revenge on the town that aspect there is about the only reason that i like this film because i love revenge films so to for them to show him getting um literally i mean awful just i mean so there was a male rape scene in it and but a female was doing it to the male and it had razor blades on it and it looked really really rough so the gore factor kind of hit towards there, like once you find out the full story, because he gets his revenge with a chainsaw on that guy and rips him a new one, no pun intended. Maybe it was intended. Anyway, that was really about the only aspects of it that I really liked. At the beginning, there's also this horrible, horrible metaphor um, where this guy's trying to be funny and he tries to use a metaphor equating King Kong in the movies to an African-American male's penis. And it's just had racist undertones to it. And I wasn't a fan of that at all. Um, and I didn't like that. So that definitely knocked the points down too. So, I mean, just not really a great, great moment. I mean, some of the special effects are all right. But it's an okay film. I'm giving it a 3.5 out of 10. I'll never watch it again. But it'll sit on the shelf. Chicken's Blood. And what's with the name? It's like so out of left field anyway. 2019, not rated, not a huge fan. Have you seen it? I'd love to hear your thoughts below. Comment, like, subscribe, hit the death bell for notifications. I'm over on Instagram too if you just want to read about them and see what I got. Appreciate y'all. Stick around, I got more reviews coming to you.